Anekamara. My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist and mature. And last time on Rogue Summoner, we uh, had an encounter that wasn't exactly a walk in the park, let's say. Now, I have streamed this game recently, like last week actually. And as you can see, my current record is 8 levels because I am absolute trash. <laughs> This time around, though, we're going to be taking on some raiders, I guess. Raid the raiders. Seven levels, and let's hope this goes well. I doubt it, but we'll see. The Moral Judgment of a Rogue Summoner, Volume 1. In a world full of kings and lords and leaders, it's easy to be seduced and become a simple-minded henchman, but not for a rogue summoner. To illustrate this characteristic, I'll tell you the story of... Lycos, the double and a half turns. In order to become rogue, you must understand both his turns and the half. Lycos was born among the sorcerer scholars. He was all of fourteen when he graduated from the school of enchantment and illusion, a true prodigy. His first mission was to serve the Orkal leader, Okakur, and of course, secretly report on his dealings to the sorcerer. So a spy of some type. And our first armed unit is the armed spider. Strength power, armed spider, four health, two damage. By the look of it, armed spider can move two spaces. So let's take advantage of that. By putting an enemy is it by putting one of my monsters right here, but gain power from the rock. So they can hopefully last. All set. And that's for floor one. Not too bad. Let's upgrade mana, just in case. Because I'm a bit of a nutty summoner myself. I prefer to have a good mana pool to work with. Because I'm prone to mistakes. Regular spider, an armed spider, and a shield rock. And regular spider there too. My armed spiders seem to cost 8 mana. I think this will work if I rush it down. Because you'll die in one hit. I can move up, damage you. Good. If anything, it might have been a little too spendy, but hey, made it through, and that's what matters. Now we get regular spiders at 4 mana, I believe. Now to deal with this guy. I can plug you there, and you there, and rush it out. The both of them are, are in shield zones, so they'll constantly be sheltered from damage. Making an easy fight. Jug that. Let's up my monster loadout just in case. I get the feeling I'm going to be encountering a few different monsters here. Permanent power rock, and a skill crystal. Gonna need to keep that alive. Question is, how do I do so? when these spiders are around. 2 HP. I think that'll work for a start. Oh wow, you still live. So you're gonna get A attack. And we're good. With two skill points. Oh, right, and uh, achievements have been added to the game now, so yay. Well, achievements and leaderboards, so that should be something I'll go into, right? Let's up my mana again. Something tells me I'm gonna need it. And just in case, let's get some extra SP too. I'm gonna get a rune at some point, right? 
Is it just me, or is it getting darker the more we progress? That's interesting. An enemy crystal. That will give me 8 max mana if I can kill it. Village Raider at 4 HP, 1 attack power. A bit peculiar that it's got only 1 attack power, but okay. I guess its movement makes up for it a bit. Let's see. It's got 5 HP. Let's plug a Tiny Spider 2 just in case. Play a turn out. Oh no, you gain damage as you move. And you continue attacking as you move too. Now that's dangerous. And I think I picked the wrong monster. Gah. Well, in that case... Let's take down this armed spider first. By the look of it, the village raider gains power as it moves, and when it stops moving, it loses all the power it's accumulated. That's actually a really cool unit. It's like a uh, slightly weaker version of the slime elemental. Let's use a regular spider to distract. You've got 3 HP. I can use another regular spider to kill, I think. Oh, but I'm losing out on the rock. <sighs> oh well. The extra mana would have been useful, but I didn't get it. Time to deal with this raider. Jilly Rock. Yeah, let's put one spider there. And I think I can rush it. But I'm not confident. Yeah, I'm especially not confident, because apparently you got an extra attack. Hmm. The tiny spider right there. Why did you get an extra attack? Maybe it's because he didn't move as much? That's it. That'd be interesting, actually. New haste potion. I'm not feeling especially confident, so let's get a ring of life, just in case. Source rock. Good. I'm gonna need that. So let's see here. If I plug you there, you'll move two, three, four, and then be able to kill in one attack, right? Yep. Good to know. Berserker pot. I'm starting to get the hang of these monsters. Let's hope that I can uh, keep the hang of it. Because remember, the last dungeon I did took me a whole bunch of attempts. Strength, power rock. Yeah, it should be good. I'm still down on mana. Hmm. It's because the rush bonus isn't that big right now. Just in case, let's upgrade the rush bonus. That might be a bit of a gamble. We'll see. Health pot might be nice. 
And the exit is south. Okay. That's my fault for not seeing that door. One spider. So, place one of you down. I think you can deal with it. Let's see here. That'll be four. It'll move about here. Yeah, I think he's good. These guys are pretty expensive. Oh, that's a bit worrying. I'll just have to be careful about when and where I use them. And in this room we've got... Borgbeck Ogre. High physical damage, immune to arrows and ice. Well, I have neither, so... Let's see, you've got 4 HP. How far do you move? Three spaces, let's assume. So that means I can place down two armed spiders and hopefully take you down immediately. Unless you spawn another unit, such... No, you don't. I had a feeling you might have, but... I guess I was paranoid for nothing. I'm fine with that. Upgrade monster loadouts. Leave that chest alone, just in case. Best case scenario, I get enough mana to, uh, or sorry, skill points to up my potion loadout. An experience power rock. Definitely gonna need to move you up to it. So to do that, I'm gonna need. Oh, you only move in L patterns. That's why you're so wonky. Okay. I actually kind of like you. Two, three. And that should take you down, because you do physical damage. And it's four HP. That's actually a really cool unit. It operates like a... like the knight in chess. I like that. This game ke just keeps doing more and more creative things, and I really love it. Four HP on that thing. From a shield power rock. Okay. So if I were to place a knight down. Let's say here. You would move here, attack, kill the ogre easily. So now the question is, I don't get my rush bonus from this. Answer. That's a little expensive. Actually, how much mana is it? 19, 13. And by comparison, two armed spiders would be 14. So that means I'm better off using a raider. And having the raider move first in the order. Rush it out. What? What is... what's going on? Why isn't my unit attacking? Can they only attack along their path? If so, then that's really annoying. Because right now I'm in an infinite loop. I'm in an infinite loop. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't abort this. I can't abort this. What? Uh, you've got to be kidding me.
I'm stuck in an infinite loop. And there's nothing I can do about it. Son of a... And we're back. Kind of. I'm, uh... I'm figuring... I figure I'd re... I'd resume my... Recording once I got to a better floor. But honestly, this has been going a little bit better. So, yeah, I figure I should bring it back early. Especially since we've got these skill points now. And now I know. If I end up in an infinite, uh, there's no saving me. I can take advantage of this, can't I? By plugging a basic ass spider here. Actually, no wait. Just in case that he survives his trip through Death Rock. Maybe I should. Plug a spider here. And just play turns, because I'm not confident. Good. On to the next room. This time around, rush bonus, shield rock. If I put an armed spider there. And regular spider here, tank the blow. Then did this. How would this work? Answer. I think it'll work wonderfully, because while you do get two attacks, you're not moving anywhere, and they're at minimum power, so we're good. Check that. While I'm at it, let's up my loadout, get a ring of life, because again, so I'm confident. I'm getting better at the tactics, but even then, after the last snafu, I figure I should probably be a little more careful. Speaking of being careful, let's put a raider there. And every time you move, you're going to be just generating shielding. So let's plug a damage tank right there, and right next to it, an armed spider. Play this out. Being careful has its merits. I am spending a bit too much mana, but let's hope it's worth it. Next upgrade, I'm getting a uh, expansion of my potion loadout. That's for diggity sir. And I believe, yep, to the south here is the room I've been using yet. And these skill crystals, so I'm gonna need to take that down quick. And a source power rock. Let's have yeah, let's just have a single armed spider take care of this. There we go. I'll need two damage. But you can take a blow. Can't take that blow at all, so I'm gonna need one more armed spider to deal with this. And we're good. Expand potion loadout, and go back to that pot that I passed up on. And Mr. Mystery Pot is haste. I 
mean, haste does have its uses. I just need to expose a good situation to actually remember to use it. Because full blunt, most of the time when I end up forgetting haste pops, it's because I forget that I have them. All right, now let's not get caught in it, shall we? Discount rock. So, what I'll want to do is plug a raider there so it can move three up and kill. Then place armed spider there. And I think I can rush this out. Oh my god. Why? I mean, it did work out in the end, but why? I need to pay better attention to how monsters work. Discard that for a Zerker pot. And... Let's see, Strength Power Rock. Okay, so now I know. This unit deals damage to all units it passes by. So, to take advantage of that... I can put one of you there, right? Then... Let's see, Armed Spider. Best way to take care of you... Probably just be an Armed Spider right there. Right? Good. And we're good. The ogres don't exactly work like a knight, but it's clo it's a close enough analog that I can kind of figure it out. Let's give myself more SP just in case. And let's see what we've got here. Ogre would do with uh, with the haste pot under its belt. That's something to try out. How much do you cost? Thirteen. Hmm. Eh, what the heck. If I'm right about this, then he it means that he gets two movements, and maybe I can take advantage of that. We'll see. Nope. Are you going to turn to... Yeah, you will. Cool. And a mana pot out of that? Not bad. But it could be better. I just traded a mod pot for a mod pot to carry. God damn it. Alright, next turn. We have. more standard enemies. So if I do something like that. And that should take care of everything, right? Because these guys can take a whipping. I just need to be careful about how I use them. And frailty rock. That'll take care of that. So I guess its movement is technically two, and then it's forced to take a movement to the side, right? At least that's what I'm thinking about. 
6 max SP. I still don't have a rune yet. That worries me. Undead shield walls. Curiosity. Can these guys pierce? If they can, that would be amazing. I don't think they can, though, so I'm not uh, anticipating much. Let's play one turn out to start with. Okay, it doesn't pierce. So who are you going to attack then? Or die. Okay. Let's set up an ambush. That should do it. Free SP. And I even get a shield ball out of the deal, so that's cool. I'm gonna need more SP for uh, another monster slot ball. Ah, oh, Champion Bones is back! He really is a trooper, isn't he? Alright, shield balls have two. What would be the best thing in this situation? Have something that can attack me as I want, so that'd be really useful. And unfortunately, I don't think I'll ever get in that situation. So instead, I could plug down a leader, but I don't have too many of those. Unlike the ogres, which I have plenty of. So you know what? Let's place. You right there, Champion Bones will be focused on you. And then I'm gonna plug down a shield ball. In order to fight you. Or you, not me. Hmm. I can have a spider go up. Then not spider. Let's see how this plays out. That deletes you. I get a free attack on the champion bones, but the champion bones gets a counterattack. Oh, you straight up move past other units. That's cool. Good. Good. Unfortunately, I don't exactly have a monster I'm to get rid of for champion bones, because even the lowliest spider has use. That being, it's a, uh, a distraction. So I'll probably have to try something else. What if I were to put down... Spider here. You would move up, but I would still be able to take care of you. Okay. Let's try this. Because my thinking here is I need to take out enemies quickly, right? Of course you would. Noted. The ogre has to be able to pass through an enemy in order to attack it. Great. That significantly drops its usefulness. For this situation, at least. That spider is as good as dead.
but past that, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, Cause now you're dead. And I'm in a very bad situation. Spider will at least take that down. Let's make it a berserker spider. Okay, I can sweep out one champion bone immediately. The other would kill it. So that's why I need a distraction. That why that way mine can move up and take. I don't exactly know how much of each of the other monsters I've got. Maybe I need to play this carefully. Discount rock. Okay, so... In this situation, I can use a shield wall to at least serve as a distraction to get you then, what about the armed spider? Probably deal with you like that. That leaves an armed spider and champion belt. These guys pretty much need to be a crossword. So it's gonna have to just tank a blow from the armed spider. Let's try this. Yeah, it's gonna perish from that blow. But my upper team should be able to take care of the skelly. it to one. No, we'll be able to shoot. To which I can place a lowly spider in there of my two mana. Have it act as a distraction. Good. champion bones, but I kind of want to also show off possible tactics for each and every monster. So I'll keep the warg, the warg back for now. It's going to be a bit tricky getting through situations with it, but if I can make it work, at least for the time that I have it, it might be ideal. Shield rock. Oh wow, so this is actually a freebie. You can take care of that. No, no. I need a better tactic. Grant shielding in what the two, whatever it's in its So, maybe I should just keep an armed spider there. And then deploy regular spider there. Let's see if this will work. Shielded. Oh, right, he gets shielding too. But 
only while he's in the studio. Wait, you you specifically can't move because you always move an open. You screwed yourself. Wow. Okay, how am I gonna deal with this scenario? Um How much HP do you have? Three. So, I'd at least need a raider to get up to the damage. Let's position you there. And... Play it out. You're gonna get shielding. But my raider will get the first blow. I think I'm good. Ugh. That's still a loss leader. And level 5. Clear. Pretty late for one of these, but eh, what am I to judge? The Moral Judgment of a Rogue Summoner, Volume 2. Lycos was part of Okakul's council in the day, and would tell the sorcerers all about it in the night. The sorcerers, lying and deceiving as they are, would tell Lycos half-truths about their plans. They would use him to get the information they wanted, and only tell him what was befitting to his rank, if you know what I mean. The straw that broke the Dracon's back was when they asked Lycos to present Okakul with a kiss of... Bane. He's a Bane. Fortunately, Lycos was cunning enough to see they would kill the Orco leader and destroy the Kiss of Bane instead. And destroyed the Kiss of Bane instead. That was the first turn. 